I'm Marlene and I wanted to show off my free to play one month old account. So yeah, I'm showing off what you can get within one month of playing the game just with normal rewards you're getting in Hokkaid Star Rail. As you can already see here, I reached Equilibrium level 4 and uh, level 58. I'm about to reach Equilibrium level 5. You can see here all the characters that I own. So I got Himeko from the beginner banner. Then I lost the 50-50 on Robin's banner and got a constellation for Himeko so she's actually C1 or E1 I think here that's what it's called. I also lost the 50-50 on Fu Shan's banner to I, I think it was either Bailu or Bronya and then from the center banner I also got Bronya or Bailu. I basically have six five stars because I have a constellation for her. Four of them from limited banner, one from beginner banner and one from standard banner but I also got this from the standard banner so that means overall i got seven five stars and currently i am basically guaranteed an eighth five star as well so you can easily get eight five stars within a month and then looking at like progression in the simulate universe i have managed to unlock all the worlds i managed to complete world nine also because of equilibrium level it's only on the difficulty one. For some of the earlier ones, I have managed difficulty two. World four and three, I have difficulty three. And then I haven't really done Swarm Disaster. Like I've done like the tutorial and same with like Golden Gears, I, but I haven't really done anything. I did manage to pick up two light cones from the Herta store and then two uh, super imposing things as well. I did try the last pure fiction. I think I passed like the first two stages but with like one star so basically pure fiction I haven't been successful yet and then a forgotten hall. It's basically the same with the rotating one the memory of chaos I haven't really done that at all but I did complete the easy first forgotten hall thing that's always there and I've started this one. Basically my issue is I have like one team pretty well built but I just started to build a second team so all of these things that require like two teams I haven't really done. I think now I could probably get a lot further in this because I have managed to build up a second team a little bit which brings me to my two teams so I mean I guess yeah so first of all this is like the team I do everything with this is my strongest team I really like her because I really like break teams and yeah Robin I think is actually the one saving my account without her I wouldn't be be doing any damage because I haven't farmed any relics yet. I have not spent a single like energy, trailblaze power, whatever it's called, on relics. I'm only using relics I get from like treasures and stuff because I want to save it until you are guaranteed to get um five star relics. When her ult is not up, I'm basically not doing any damage. Bu Xuan is the reason I actually wanted to start playing Honkai Star Rail because to be honest, I don't like Honkai Star Rail's designs very much. The only design in the entire game I like is hers. Yeah, I'm a Yimiko main in Genshin as well, so <laughs> you can tell my favorite color is pink. Yeah, and then Himiko, she's just my strongest because I got her early on, so I started building her from the start. But I don't actually like her, so as soon as I get someone else, she's gonna get replaced. If I have to split this team up into two teams, these are the two teams I'm using for the Mirror Hall or whatever it's called and the Pure Fiction thing. On one side, I'm using a Himiko team and just like buffing her. I actually fell in love with Hanya when I got her. She's probably my favorite unit after Fushuan. Out of her voice and and her animations are so pretty. And then the other team is like break team. This team is really strong. So I think because of Robin, honestly. And then this team, not as strong. So yeah, we can just quickly go over how far I managed to build my people up. So they're all level 70, all of these, except for Bailu. I really want to build her because I think she's cute, um, but I know she's not very strong. So I'm gonna save the resources uh, to build up the two teams first. And then maybe at some point I'll build her up. I do like her, I think she's really cute. And then all the light cones are level 70 as well. And I'm currently working on the traces. So they are almost all of them should look like this. So the traces they actually need to level up should be at level 7. And then all of these little ones are also unlocked. Then relics. Like I said, I only have relics from treasures and missions. Yeah, I did, I think, farm Simulator Universe 
a couple times because there was like a double drop rate. So yeah, I don't think we need to look at these builds. Then for her, I got her the five star Hatta light cone, which I'm really happy with. This is actually her best in slow. This is actually a set I used the self modeling resin or whatever it's called for that I got from events as rewards. Uh, yeah, and she is. C3 or E3. <laughs> She's the only DPS I really like. I don't know. I'm I'm honestly waiting for more DPSs because I'm not I'm not liking any of Conquest Star Rail's characters, like the animations for the design, and that's really important to me. For Robin, I got her uh, the light cone from the event. And then I got the five star light cone from Hata for Fushuan. Bronya, I got this one. I think you can buy that in the memory hall reward shop or whatever. I got four star for Hanya. For Hanya, I actually managed to get her E1. I got this one for the trailblazer. And then I got this one from the mirror shop as well. For the missions, I completed the main mission. I only have like one of the like, side missions here left. And I have a couple of companion missions and then a couple adventure missions, but not that many. Only have the Zhangzhou uh, missions left, uh, all the other worlds I've done, and I have 348 achievements. And I have 49 of this replenishing trailblaze power thing, uh, which I'm not going to use until I'm at least uh, level 60. And regarding like, exploration, I have 100%ed the space station, 100%ed this. And then I'm almost finished with Panacone, um, because I was trying to get the Harmony Trailblazers Eidolons. And then this is the only world I haven't really tried to 100% complete yet. And lastly, I quickly want to touch who I want to wish for in the future. So out of all of the characters I own, I only really want to keep four characters in my teams. Always want to use her, I love her. Then I think Robin is just strong and I like her place as like easy, straightforward. And then these two. I don't care about anyone else basically. And then out of the ones I don't own, I'm not really loving anyone but I do want to get Ron May. I do like her animations. I think she's very pretty and she seems to be pretty good for break teams. And then I also really like Black Swan. Her voice and her animations um, I really like. Only issue with Black Swan is she only really works with a dot team. So you kind of need to get Kafka. I don't mind Kafka, but I also don't like her. I will probably get her, but I am kind of hoping for a different dot trigger person that works well with Black Swan. I think Cool Who would be quite nice for Sustain on the other team that doesn't use Fushuan. Maybe Lucha. I like both of them. And then for DPSs, that's my issue. I don't really like any DPSs that much. Jing Yuan, I do like his personality. Um, I'm not sure if I like his playstyle. Dan Hong, the same thing. I do like his personality. I'm not sure if I like his playstyle. That was the video already. I hope not you have an idea of what you can expect starting out Honkai Star Rail, what kind of rewards you're gonna get, how far you're gonna get within a month. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and bye!